and welcome to vlogtober day one today officially it kicks off vlogtober 2023 i am so 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 excited i have been talking about vlogtober here on my channel for the past couple months now probably maybe two to three months and here it is i cannot believe it came so fast so today officially kicks off the first day I am fresh out of the shower. It is Sunday, October the 1st. I literally just got dressed. I wanted to go ahead and pick up the camera and let you guys know what we are doing today, kind of what my plans are here on my channel for Vlogtober 2023. And a quick OOTD, I literally just got out of the shower like I just said, and I threw my hair up in this claw clip snatched my shower cap off and I'm just letting her do whatever she wants to do for now we're not going to not diving into hair just yet but I do want to go ahead and do my skincare and my body care lotion down moisturize because we are heading out the door if you guys are new here if we have not met if you've never seen this face before then welcome sis. welcome back to all of my OGs if you guys are new here if you do not know me if we have not met my name is Cece and this is my life in HD. Really quickly on skincare, I've shown all of these products multiple times before here on my channel. But for all of the new viewers, this is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing. So I do moisturize with this every single morning. And then of course, we go in with our Black Girl Sunscreen at 30 SPF. And then I like to mix my sunscreen with the bio oil. I know uh, so many, I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know what the bio oil is, but if you don't, here it is. I love to mix mine together because sometimes sunscreen doesn't always blend and melt into my skin the way that I need her to. So I like to mix mine with bio oil. Sometimes I'll mix it with like a facial serum or just some type of moisturizer to make it melt better. All right, so let's go on with my moisturizer. It looks like I am definitely needing some more of this. I am almost out, but it's lasted for, I got that a couple months ago, so it actually has lasted me quite a while. I wanna say I got that back in the beginning of the summer, maybe June, late June, early July, somewhere in there. So here we are in October. That bottle has definitely lasted for quite a while, but we are, down to the end of it because clearly I need some more. I am banging the bottle on my hand. So I hope you guys are just as excited for Vlogtober as I am. I know so many content creators. This is a really big time of a year for social media. I know some people, I know a lot of content creators participate in Vlogtober every single year. And then here within the last couple years, I know a lot, I know so many have even transitioned the concept of Vlogtober over one to TikTok. So I am planning, fingers crossed, no promises, but I am planning to attempt to also participate in TikTok Vlogtober this year as well. What I'm planning to do is probably just when I'm editing my videos, when I'm editing my videos for YouTube, I will probably just condense them a little bit more and turn them into mini vlogtober vlogs for tiktok and post them over there so it really won't be different content different content it will still be the same content each day but it will just be the mini version for those because you know some people prefer shorter content lengths some people love the longer 45 60 90 120 minute videos so each platform definitely caters to a different audience just a different community so i want to be able to edit my YouTube Vlogtober videos and like I said, just make them a little bit, make them shorter, condense them down and post them over on TikTok also. So if you are on TikTok, I'm uh, not sure about posting them on Instagram and turning them into Insta Instagram Reels, but I know I am definitely planning to post over on TikTok also. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok already, my handles are always listed down below in my description box all platforms are always the same CC and HD okay so skin is definitely glistening for body care today I'm going to use my this is from Victoria's Secret Pink the honey cranberry extract glow boosting body oil and then I'm going to use I like to mix an oil with a body lotion I really don't like using body lotion by itself it just never gives me enough moisture as I need and I really don't have super dry skin but I just love the feel of it it, it makes me feel it makes my skin feel a lot more soft and just supple when I mix an oil with a lotion. So today I'm using Bath & Body Works Mad About You. And we're just going to mix these two together. I love the way it smells too. It smells really, really good.
All right, so quick OTT for today. Do not mind all of that going on over there on my desk. We will clean that up and tidy up that before we leave out of the house but really quickly I just threw on this black graphic tee from PacSun I threw on these black kind of biker shorts from from Zara I actually this is my first this is my first time wearing these I just got these in July when we went to where did we go um oh when we went to Atlanta for that summer vacation trip and then I'm not sure what shoes I'm going to wear right now I just have on my slippers but these shorts are really really comfortable and I'm probably going to get questions so I did just pop the tag off let me show you guys really quickly okay here is the tag right here and they were on sale as you can see they were $22.90 originally I got these bad boys for $9.99 if you want a screenshot there is the item number I'm not sure if they will still have them of course it is now fall so I just looked up and I was able to pick these up back in July first time I cannot believe out of sight, out of mind is a real thing, you guys. I cannot believe I'm just now remembering that I even had them and pulled them out to throw them on today. Definitely know we are going to Target today. I'm not sure if we're going to go there first, but I know we're going to Target. And I know we are going to Bath & Body Works because um, the they have a couple of different promos going on today and then also have some coupons in the app that expire tomorrow October 2nd and you know we do not let coupons expire over here so we are going to head to Bath and Body Works probably pick up maybe some fall candles we just stocked up on hand soaps so we really don't need any hand, so hand soaps right now but definitely probably some fall candles maybe some hand sanitizers I'm not sure but I know we are definitely definitely Bath and Body Works today and then we'll grab something to eat and just kind of see where the day takes us let's get ready to head out the kitty little candy pails for trick-or-treating you guys they have this purple one with a witch on it this black one back here with a jack-o-lantern and this green one what does this one have on it oh the skeletons this one looks like it glows in the dark that one may be super cool might be kind of cool as i just say it's glow in the dark oh yeah light up projector bucket Looks like they're three dollars. Super cool. Those are cute. They got this glow. They have this glow costume pack. Ninety-six pieces. It's three dollars. It says attach glow sticks to your clothes. So I guess you can just kind of make this your costume. That would be really cool. I've never seen that before. They got a couple different. We're in the Target dollar spot. They got some really cool things. Just, oh, for families that want to do like, you know how they have the matching Christmas PJs. Now they have matching Halloween. And maybe they've always had it, but I'm just not the biggest fan of Halloween. So I really don't pay attention to this kind of thing, this kind of stuff every year. But it says hide and seek boutique women's two piece glow in the dark family set. They're $25. Looks like they have a Target circle discount promo going on 30% off oh they even have the bandana for your dog and it looks like they have men women and kids here's an example of it they got a one of the mannequins dressed up there's the kid I don't see that one that's super cute for a child the one piece sleeper looks like it glows in the dark too and then here is mom back here and that's what hers looks like really cute so if you guys want to do matching jammies for the fam for halloween this year and that would be even cute for anybody doing content any vloggers that want to do this like with their family these would be super cute okay here in the back they have the black ones 
so they have some different here's one like for the dog and then the kids women's they're all 30 percent off i always tell you guys make sure you download the target circle app because you can always 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 save and make your dollars holla let's go over here and see what they have we got beanies for 12 bucks a lot of really cute fall colors love a good beanie we are over here in the sock department look at these socks these slippers rather they are nine dollars black faux fur or sherpa i don't even know what this material is but super cute look at the jack-o-lantern right there on the toe oh it says slipper socks this one fell down i got these sequence cats okay sis i see you this one has the cute little friendly casper ghost we got some crew socks down here glow in the dark those are five these are cute i love socks i'm definitely a socks girl all for some nice thick cozy socks and i love sherpa for this time of year got jack this is one of my favorite movies even though i am kind of anti-halloween definitely not yeah girl when it comes to halloween fall yes fall all day every day but halloween i think that's just the regular socks down there um halloween not so much and this one what are these oh leggings seamless leggings for 15. looks like they just say boo and like a psychedelic funky they got a lot of 30 percent off this week sweatshirts sweatpants women's sweaters and sleepwear october 1st through the 2nd so that promo just started today so we have made our way over to the seasonal aisle these are cute i'm definitely planning on doing this one of the days for vlogtober this month i'm not sure exactly which day but i definitely want to do a pumpkin painting yeah, that's really cute look at this one and then they have this one with a little cat create a spooky black cat we got some carving stencils up here carving party kits crayola pumpkin paint classic colors jack skellington that is my movie i love that movie sally pumpkin decorating kit we got cinderella over here my Little Pony, Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Paw Patrol, and Sarah Sanderson from the Sanderson Sisters. I put a spell on you. Oh, that blue is beautiful. I love that blue. Got some white ones, some natural. Looks like the dollar spot over here. Some treat bags if you're having a Halloween party. All the different treat bags and then everything to stuff them with. Pencils. pumpkin glasses i know the kids will eat this stuff up what is this sticky spiders what does it say oh just pins and a lot of different little treats to fill the bags with we got some bubbles down here and all of this stuff is only a dollar fake teeth fake fingers <laughs> Stationary set. We got some gel window clings up there. There's so much going on over here. Oh, we got some Halloween squishmallows down there. Oh, wow, look at this, you guys. A mummy bowling game. And this is $10. Hide and eek witch hat ring toss. We got some tumbler cups, bucket and ball, no, bucket ball toss game. I guess everything you need comes inside of there. Got some little pumpkin jack o' lantern. You can fill these with candy and add those to trick or treat goodie bags. That's a cute idea. Got some tote bags up here. trunk decorating kit this is minecraft these are 15 and then you also have pokemon oh and transformers over there 
Got some toy machine wagon kits. Got a lot going on in Target already. They were just waiting for October. And of course, all of your Halloween party decor, tablecloths and wreaths and plates and napkins, plasticware, cups, all that good stuff. This little mummy. <laughs> the jack o back here. Try me. Oh, what do you do? Oh, look at that, you guys. <laughs> what does the ghost do? Oh my goodness. Okay, so what does the mummy do? Oh, the ghost spins around, you guys. Look at him. Or her. Look at them. We're going to be gender neutral. <laughs> this one is... Let's see what the mummy does. I got to press his foot. Oh my goodness. Look at him pop off. So cute. <laughs> the balloon arch kit over here for 10 bucks some garland a banner and some kitchen towels these are five what was I getting ready to show you guys this hide and eek boo lit sign uh, lit sign for five some kids cups back there <laughs> some colorful Halloween decor going on over here. All the pretty colors. Chicken treats haunt, haunt you later. Some pretty colors. This big guy up here. He's all the way almost to the ceiling. How much is that? I wonder how much that is. I know it's at least $100. These are moving. You got the ghost going into his grave. RIP and this red monster thing over here. All the costumes are coming out, hitting the shelves. Well, that's cute. That wreath, it says, hello fall. It has a squirrel and some pumpkins down at the bottom. That's cute. Really cute for like a breakfast bar or a kitchen or dining room table or maybe in your living room on a console. This is Happy Fall. How much is this? Oh, I guess hide and eek must be the theme this year. Happy Fall wood tray for 20. That's super cute. And we got some battery operated pumpkins over here. We have made it over to my favorite aisle. I'm such a foodie. Look at these Hostess Pumpkin Spice Twinkies. I'm debating on whether or not I want to get these. They look so good. Limited edition, of course. I love Twinkies. I was definitely a Twinkie girl growing up. We have some Uts Ghost Puffs, White Cheddar Flavored Puffs. Things like this always remind me of Trader Joe's. Um, what is it called? Pirate's Booty. Oh, what do you know? Pirate's Booty Halloween parties. Spooky Shapes. We have all of the Halloween themed snacks. We got Reese's Popcorn up there. Quaker Chewy Halloween Minis. Chocolate Chip with Sprinkles. The Welch's Mixed Fruit Snacks churro strips never heard of those rice crispy strip rice crispy treats definitely one of my faves pop tart bites haunted frosted chocolate fudge we got these fruit loops jumbo snacks you can get 50 packs in there that is a lot that's halloween mini cheese ball treats Got the Halloween goldfish. I used to love goldfish. I still love goldfish. Who am I kidding? Skinny pop popcorn. Such a foodie, you guys. White cheddar, spooky spell, ABC bites. Got 10 bags in there. We got the favorite day cheese puffs in this jack o' lantern container. Frito Lay. Some veggie chips. Over here, they have the cookie house kits out. Friday night cookie kit which is Tower Cookie House Kit. This one is Town Scare Haunted Village. That one is cute. Illuminated Dracula's Castle, Monster Clubhouse. And a couple different ones. It looks like a big house of just chocolate. Halloween tortilla chips. Hot drink bomb. Hot chocolate bomb mummy. This is an eyeball. Eerie Eyes Gummy Candy Ice Cube Trays. Marshmallow Toppers. 
Oh, color changing cocoa mix. That's cute. Halloween icing, like candy, moonlit lodge, Halloween monsters, hot drink bomb kit, and some kettle corn, <laughs> monster drizzle. There's this toy, or maybe it's just like a really huge decor piece for your yard, and it keeps singing, and we're trying to figure out where it's coming from. But we haven't found it yet. We found it, you guys. Here is what has been making the noise. We literally heard it all the way on the other side of the store. And this is what keeps singing. I think he's getting ready to do it again. Oh, maybe we have to press like a button or something. Oh, right here. It's this ghost. All right, watch and see. We literally heard this all the way on the other side of the store. He just kept going up and down and up and down making this sound we're like where is that coming from and it's him here he is i thought he was like going in and out of something but he literally just only goes up and down hilarious hilarious you guys so i'm sure you have heard all over social media about the alani new kim k energy drink and they have them here at our target i think i'm going to try it out i've heard so many mixed reviews some say yay some say nay i don't know some people love it some people absolutely thousand percent <laughs> hate it like i've never heard anybody talk about this flavor though this is the kiwi guava and they're two for five so i definitely think i'm going to pick up a couple i've heard quite a few people that love this flavor this is the juicy peach so i think i definitely want to pick her up today hawaiian shaped ice they have a lot of flavors at this location the blue slush um mimosa i've heard a couple people talk about that one what is this back here oh, that's the hawaiian shaped ice this is the breeze berry Oh, look, they have one for Halloween, I guess, which is brew. And this is the only one, so that is... I don't know, there's another box back there. I was going to say, I know it's limited time, so it's going fast. Those are primed down there. All right, so I'm going to pick out a couple, and I will do taste tests. I'll do a taste test with you guys when we get back home. I am trying to decide whether I want to try any of these, these favorite day snacks. Pumpkin spice mini pretzels. I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around what this would even taste like. Got some sour orange gummy pumpkins caramel apple bourbon pumpkin spice kettle corn uh -oh, pumpkin spice coated caramels apple cinnamon pecan what is that oh that's trail mix and these all range from like four bucks to 4.69 caramel apple caramel corn crunchy clusters apple caramels and then down here we got some honey crisp style apple cider and then the old fashioned apple cider and these are $2.99 really kind of want to try these pumpkin spice let's do it it is vlogtober it is vlogtober comment below let me know if you guys always reach in the back for anything off of the shelf my mom taught us that as a little girl small kids growing up we always never ever reach for the first never reach for the first always reach for in the back the second or the third never reach for the first always reach in the back the second or the third so we're going to try them out it is vlogtober how can we have vlogtober and not try fall snacks so we're going to get the pumpkin spice mini pretzels and then it looks like they have a couple others over here pumpkin spice crisp cookies caramel apple cookies oh these are baking kits some more of the hot drink bombs you know we have a lot of these we do a lot of these during the christmas holiday season cocoa bombs some pumpkin cheesecake sandwich cookies mini spice mini cupcakes pumpkin sliced cake these look so good got some chocolate mini brownies down here pumpkin sliced cake pumpkin spice soft sandwich cookies frosted sugar cookies down there and maple glazed oh my god donuts maple glazed donuts Oh, maybe we should do a Krispy Kreme day, you guys. I'm pretty sure they have some fall Halloween themed donuts for us to try. We have our pumpkin creamers out. Of course, Starbs has their pumpkin spice latte, caramel macchiato, all these guys are year round. Natural Bliss has the oat creamer, plant-based pumpkin spice, real milk and cream creamer, 
Let's see, we got a couple different holiday ones. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this one. My Califia Farms Caramel Apple Crumble Limited Edition. I know that is, ooh. I may wanna try that out today. That sounds so good. Which is, what is this? Oh, chocolate caramel. And then, oh, here's a new one by Coffee Mate Cinnamon Roll. It's zero sugar. I know that's probably really good. And then down here, all the norms. So we're trying to decide which cookies we want to do. We definitely want to do a fall themed cookie bake day. We got Pillsbury Ghost shaped sugar cookies, pumpkin shaped sugar cookies. And we got some Nestle down there. I don't know. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you aren't already because I have so much. My Vlogtober calendar is jam packed for this month. So I absolutely refuse to buy any more Tree Hut right now because I have so much at home in my beauty room. But it looks like they do have some new ones out. New to me, you guys may have already seen or heard about these, but it looks like they have Cinnamon Dulce now. Um, this iced coffee. I love the font. The colors are really pretty. And then Pumpkin Spice Latte. I feel like we've seen this one last year though. But these just caught my eye. We are actually getting ready to head to checkout and I looked over in the body care direction and I saw these so I definitely had to add them in today's little Target vlog October video. I want to smell them really quickly. Let's smell them. Let's do a quick smell test and then we'll go check out. All right so first up let's smell cinnamon dose. I love cinnamon dose lattes at Starbucks and I feel like this is probably going to smell just like the syrup. A lot of cinnamon. Lots and lots and lots and lots of cinnamon. That is a heavy, ooh, that is a heavy cinnamon smell. And look what I just did to my shirt. <laughs> Bloopers, do you guys see what I just did to my t-shirt? I literally just spilled all of this scrub. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we made a mess. It's all over my hand, you guys. I'm gonna give this to one of the employees and tell them to damage this out. I don't have any hand sanitizer or water. I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom and wash my hands. Things we do for content. You guys see like things we do <laughs> for the vlogs. My shirt now I'm gonna smell like cinnamon dulce for the rest of today and we definitely have more places that we are stopping to. <laughs> do y'all see the shade, the sugar <laughs> shade scrub? flying all over the place oh my gosh i'm having to go to the bathroom okay let's do a quick smell test for the other two and then i can go to the bathroom look at that oh my god okay so we're gonna put her off to the side next really quickly let's smell iced coffee and let me go let me know down in the comment section if you guys have smelled these before oh that's a really strong coffee smell really 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 strong coffee smell but i know a lot of people love that when it comes to body care. So that would be a good one for, oh, I can't even get this lid back up here. That would be a good one for somebody that loves coffee scents. And then last but not least, a pumpkin spice latte. I feel like this one is gonna smell really good. And it does. I feel like it has a hint of vanilla in this. I like that one. If I were buying any Tree Hut sugar scrubs today, I would definitely get this one. But I just have so many at home, way too many in my beauty room. So I'm definitely not picking any up today. But just wanted to share those three. Pumpkin spice latte, iced coffee, and then this mess over here that we're going <laughs> to take to them so they can damage it out. Cinnamon dulce. Let's go find a bathroom so I can clean myself up. Oh my gosh. Christmas for the holidays. I'm gonna try to stay in the whole family. So we wanna look around and look around. 
candles and see which ones we are going to take home today. I've never heard of this one. This one says, Girl, you're going to get snowy spearmint and winter lavender. That's really good. If you love, what is it? Lavender, you feel like this lavender, it smells really good. This one reminds me of that. You feel like this is all really pretty packaging. me off so much by the name apple and charcoal i was so skeptical the fragrance notes sweet red apple smoked and oh that's it just sweet red apple and smoked charcoal when i saw this one online i could not wrap my head around what that may smell like but now that i'm in store and i've smelled it i always smell the lids it smells really really good if you love apple scents anything appley you will love this do not let the name throw you off because it smells good and i love the beautiful you guys know I've talked about this packaging recently with my Bath & Body hand soap haul. The very kind of simplistic, modern packaging. I love this. It's so, so pretty. We got a lot of these soaps like this. But yeah, don't let the name throw you because that smells really, really good, you guys. Look at these bright. I have not. Now, this is a first for me. I haven't seen these bright, the bright packaging for these yet. Vetiver Glow. I did see that one online when I was filling my card up because I knew I wanted to come and take advantage of this sale this weekend. These are really, really bright. I don't know if the camera is doing it any justice. Oceanside Palm. There's Vetiver Glow again. Tiki Beach. They look almost like neon fluorescent, like glow in the dark almost. Really pretty, but definitely more summery in my opinion. I don't know. Celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. I don't know, not really giving me fall, but they are gorgeous for summer. I'm not sure what this is. I thought it was a candle, but she definitely doesn't have a wick. It's really pretty though. I like the flower. $19.95. I guess it's just decor. If you are one that decorates your home with a lot of Halloween themed decor and you like this, Bath and Body Works, $19.95. I have never seen this packaging before. I was actually looking for the car fresheners and I happened to glance over here. Look how pretty these are, you guys. It's giving like a bohemian kind of boho vibe. This one is Terracotta Canyon. These are the cleansing gel hand soaps. Oh, these are so cute. This one is sun washed citrus and then I love this one in body care I literally have a body lotion in my beauty room right now that I refuse to use the rest of it it's probably like maybe halfway even a third still full and I refuse to use the last of it because I do not want to be out of it it's the denim and daisies if you have never smelled that in a body lotion or body cream any type of body care it smells phenomenal I didn't even know this one came in a hand soap these are really cute though very very boho giving lots of bohemian energy super cute i don't know if you guys have seen this packaging maybe you have but it's definitely new to me oh there's another one down here pretty lavender color this one is oh mojave plum i love this i wish i would have seen these over the summer because i definitely would have stocked up on those for summer but I'm definitely in our fall era now yeah I want to use, so I do have the 10 off a of 30, and then okay. I also have a 25% off. I okay. know we have to split the transactions, okay. so I guess just do it however you have to. <laughs> I think doing um, three candles gets you exactly to the mark, and then it makes it $34 for three candles. And then we can do the rest with the 25% off. I believe this is the way to split it. Okay, because when I calculate it, I know two candles puts me at 27, mm -hmm. and then I was going to add this okay. guy to hit That's 30, true. Okay, and then that can be a separate one, and yeah. then I have preview coupons for these guys. Okay. Okay. All right. We do that. I just have to pre-calculate yeah. in my head. <laughs> Did you see this one? There's, there's a new one. That one's like the full stuff is coming out tomorrow. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me get you a candle free. Perfect. So I'm checking out and it looks like there is a new fall fragrance. She said it's releasing it tomorrow. I'm here at the checkout cash wrap. It's called Luminous. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this or not. The packaging is gorgeous. Look at that kind of maroon with the gold. It's really, really pretty and I just smelled it. It smells amazing. This smells like, I can't even really think of which perfume this smells like right now, but I totally definitely want to get this. If you guys have not checked it out, make sure you check out Luminous when you go on your next bag. And work mine, it smells so good. It's the mini fragrance for $8.95. Uh, love it. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> 
total we can do. No, 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 no. So all full size body. There are 24. Oh. So it's coming in like every day. I was going to say that sounds like all the forms. 